back at it again with another video today we're going to be talking about Reginald because they just released another briefing this one is called briefing 42 ridgeline character development once again brought to us by the very generous kaminsky i'm starting to believe that he's actually just the community manager now because i haven't seen gwen in fact i don't even think she's with the company anymore because her account says former community manager so okay this one starts out by saying attention officers welcome to our 42nd edition of our bi-weekly newsletter this week we will introduce the prime suspect in one of our upcoming levels ridgeline Line, Gerard Scott. We will learn more about this recluse and his modes of destruction. However, before we start, we have a few words from the development team. I guess this is a message to the community. It says, we know players are eagerly awaiting improvements to the AI. As some users are aware, we have been showing off a few hints through other channels, which I'll probably get to those hints in another video because there's been quite a bit of little mini updates scattered around. I'll try to just put them all together in a later video, maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know. But anyways, however, when we are ready, we will release a dev vlog showing these updates in detail we are currently working on improving overall ai appearance when moving and shooting changing how ai perceive and engage with the player with variables for most suspect actions to give modders the flexibility they need animations for weapon raising aiming and detection are being adjusted as well leading to ai being required to slow down and aim more directly at the player to be more lethal with their shot placement we are excited to showcase these changes and more exciting ones shortly before the atom update is dropped Void Interactive. Adam update? What's that? Hmm, interesting. Now we happily return to your regularly scheduled newsletter. A recluse hidden in the hills. Deep in the hills of northern Los Sunas lies a cabin occupied by Gerard Scott, a 55-year-old ex-USIA, United States Intelligence Agency, analyst. Gerard was performing illegal activities as an agent, using his power and accessibility to spy on law enforcement agencies within Los Sunas. And we got our first picture here. Oh my god, this is one messed up looking kitchen. What the hell is that on the counter right there? Is that like a cat or something? Looks like a tiny cat. It's like a knife jabbed into it too. We got like an old looking stove here. If I remember correctly, this is actually a cabin that's like out in the woods, right? So everything looks like it would be in a cabin, aside from all the trash and all the dishes that haven't been washed. This place even get running water, I wonder? Look at all these newspapers. The Los Sunas Times. I'm trying to look up to the right here to see if I see anything, but it looks like some of the walls over there on the right are kind of broken open, or maybe this is just a front door? I don't know. It's a freaking stripped cat right there. That's, that's ew, nasty. Underneath this picture, it says, this man is in desperate need of a paper shredder. That's for sure. I don't think of a paper shredder would solve all this issue. It just needs a really good cleanup and a lot of uh, more construction. But moving on here, since his release, Gerard has developed a delusional obsession with the police force and focused his efforts on destroying it. He is currently wanted for the murder of five police officers. Oh wow. Killed trying to extinguish a vehicle Gerard purposefully set on fire outside the East Makati Police Department. Makati? I said that right? Or Makade maybe? Underneath this is another picture. I believe this is the basement, but I couldn't, well actually this doesn't look like a basement because we got windows right here but man this is like some conspiracy level house right here with all the tin foil and metal and stuff right here this looks pretty wild underneath the picture it says a quick peek inside the mind of madness hey you can definitely tell that this dude ain't in the right mindset do you think he constantly writes on that whiteboard over there i don't know what it says can't read it from here but moving on here Coded Revenge. Another obsession of Gerard's is the production of ricin. Oh, really? A deadly compound if swallowed or breathed in. Yeah, that's uh, ricin is very dangerous to humans. This makes me wonder if we have to wear masks when playing on this mission. Outside of his cabin lies rows of cultivated castor plants stripped of their beans. The main ingredients needed for this bioweapon. The castor beans are cooked and mashed. The waste byproduct being ricin, dried bean paste, and jars of white powder litter the cabin. I didn't actually see any jars in this previous picture yeah i don't see any jars so maybe it's in a different area so looking at this next picture i'm not seeing anything uh in terms of like jars and stuff but i definitely see quite a bit of cages does this dude own like a bunch of animals we did just see a dead cat upstairs or at least it looked like a dead cat he's got some wolf pelts over there so this dude does a lot of hunting in the forest out here or at least that's what i think maybe these are traps he's a bunch of newspapers that are just stacked up this place looks like a very this place looks like a firehouse got something on the table right here it looks kind of 
meat like lying on top of it maybe he's cooking it not too sure but underneath this picture it says the remains of gerard's rice and experiments wonder how bad the stretch is wonder how bad the stench is oh my god this dude is testing rice on freaking animals that's wild to carry out his plan of mailing coded packages and letters to police departments across los sunas gerard invented a homemade device that aerosolized ricin to test its effectiveness gerard captured small animals from the ridge and carried out experiments documenting how each animal suffered he is very close to perfecting his invention oh what the f this is some psycho shit right here and then we get a look at the product this is like a weird looking bottle thing it looks like a sprint bottle with a weird looking motherboard looking thing i'm not even sure what this is this looks dangerous as hell wait a minute is this the back end of a needle? How does that even work? Oh, maybe this is a a bomb? Because I'm trying to think how this would actually function. Because if you try to spray into this, that wouldn't work. Because it doesn't shoot outwards. So maybe it just explodes? That's interesting. Underneath this, it says complicated, but extremely effective. So does this mean that we do have to bring masks on this mission? In case Ryzen tries to get into your lungs. That'd be really bad. But moving on here, we got another picture that shows a bit of how this actually works. I can just barely read this, but actually I can't really read it at all. This thing is supposed to rotate. This has like a metal arm, I guess. Like this is supposed to be like a trap i assume mb motor maybe and th so this thing rotates and then pulls the trigger and then i guess the thing falls in here and this okay so this is supposed to like fall off or something i guess i'm not really sure how this works but over here on the left side we got a bunch of ricin effects on animals life it seems to have affected rats less because rats are you know vermin they tend to die less from diseases and shit or at least as far as i know it doesn't seem to be that effective on or maybe you just wasn't able to capture that many birds the rest of seem to work better on raccoons are these oh these are days okay so the rat only lasted a day the bird only lasted a day raccoon lasted three days or two days rabbit lasted two days cat lasted three days and i'm assuming the last one is a human if i had to guess it's interesting but underneath this it says gerard is definitely not an animal person not much of a people person either yeah i wouldn't say so in conclusion this concludes our 42nd bi-weekly briefing where we introduce our new characters in one of our upcoming levels ridgeline be sure to tune in for the next development news so yeah that's pretty much it for the newsletter uh there's a bunch of mini dev stuff and i'll definitely get into that in another video but right now i just wanted to cover the briefing just to get it out there and uh yeah so tell me what you think down below are you someone that actually enjoyed this little mini update do you think that it gave you enough kick while waiting for the next dev blog let me know because i'm gonna end the video here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like radio not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more videos on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover if you're someone that would like to support the channel there's a join button a thank you button and a patreon link in the description every donation helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye